and with him. Hey, Chris and Lois, that's right. We are off of 75 in Keynes Highway, and the winds have picked up here. But I've been watching my colleagues in Naples, and nothing compared to that. But we're getting prepared ourselves. I'm going to have our cameraman sort of show you what we're dealing with right now. The wind has died down a little bit. We're still seeing people come out of the hotel that we're staying at, going into their cars, checking things out with their cars, getting things out of their cars. But as you can see, pretty windy out here. There is one truck right over here that's pulling in. I do want to remind everyone that's in Charlotte County that first responders have been removed off the road. So if you have an issue, there would be no first responder coming to you. Now I want to show you some of the footage that we shot from our hotel room. We're on the fourth floor. So you can see earlier the, the, the trees were being bent by the wind. And I spoke to a few people that are staying here. This hotel is packed. I spoke to a man from New Jersey. He said that he moved here two years ago and has never experienced something like this but he knows that this is just the beginning i'm very surprised because it's very quiet you wouldn't even know a storm was coming <laughs> i think we're gonna be in for a surprise though pretty soon <laughs> And we are pretty far, far up north right now. So right now we're just seeing the wind and a little bit of the rain and we're preparing to brace ourselves for Hurricane Irma. Now I do want to remind people out here in Charlotte County, there is a curfew that starts at 9 p.m., goes until 6 a.m. And again, it is very dangerous to be on the roads right now. First responders have been moved off the roads and we are on the fourth floor overlooking 75 and Keynes Highway. We have been seeing a few people take be brave and go out there, drive it around, and it's not really safe to be doing that. Live here in Northport, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now. Yeah, this, this is a time for everybody to be inside. You yeah. made the plans, you found the spot. Estrada is live in Port Charlotte right now. Uh, Chris and Lois, yeah, we last time we talked to you, we were outside. We're inside the hotel right now just because it's not safe to be out there. I'm going to have you pan over, Mike. Thank you very much. And Lois, you were saying that we, you can check out images, but you don't really get the sound. I'm going to open the window just a little bit so I can stick the mic out so you can get some natural sound of what we are listening to right now. So we are in Port Charlotte, uh, not really sort of feeling the effects of Irma right now. One thing that we're worried about as we look out this window is this sign right over here as the winds begin to pick up. We're not sure what this road sign is going to do, so we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we are off of 75 and Keynes Highway. Uh, about two hours ago, we were seeing people drive now it's totally empty. No one, we've been monitoring this window for the past 30 minutes. Luckily, no one is on the road right now because like I mentioned earlier, all first responders in Charlotte County have been removed off the roads. That happened about two hours ago. So I just want to remind people, it is extremely, extremely windy out here. And if you're driving out there, please go home or go somewhere safe like we are in this hotel room. Now, I just want to remind everyone out there, there is a curfew here in Charlotte County. That starts at 9 p.m., goes until 6 a.m. So just want to remind people, don't be out on the roads because as you see, we were out here outside just an hour ago and things have really, really started to uh, pick up here in Charlotte County. Reporting live here, guys, back to you. All right, thank you very much, John Carlos. And you know, you mentioned earlier about the uh, app that you can watch, or they're watching us streaming online or on Facebook, and can see exactly that what's coming to them. Right. Yeah, you, that's you can right. certainly hear it outside as well. Yeah. Wink News anchor John Carlos Estrada is live in Northport, where a lot of Charlotte County residents went to shelter. And John Carlos, you're there to shelter as well. What are you seeing out of your windows right now? Hey, Lois. Uh, yeah, we are seeing a lot of wind and a lot of rain. We've been keeping an eye on this pine tree. We believe it's a pine tree. I know Chris said earlier that usually they're the first ones to go, and you can see some of the limbs have been broken off. And uh, I want to show you some video that my photographer shot maybe about 15 minutes ago. He went downstairs, tried to get some better shots of what's going on, and you can really see the wind picking up around here. He says that there were some people down there as I was preparing and, and cutting all this and editing this. He was able to talk to a few people who were still taking their last cigarettes cigarette smoke downstairs and walking their dog. Now we've been monitoring this part of Keynes Highway off of 75 and we've within the last five minutes saw two vehicles on the road. Again, people in Charlotte County, people all over Southwest Florida, you do not need to be on the road right now. Uh, first responders here in Charlotte County were pulled about afternoon, around the afternoon time. They were pulled off the roads because it's just too dangerous to be out there. Now, I spoke to a man. He is from uh, the Keys. He is here now in Charlotte County, and he had a message to get out to the people tonight. Please don't. 
don't put on the generators in your house. People, the carbon monoxide will kill you, tell them. I mean, because after the storm, they go crank their gym generators up inside the house or in the garage. Yeah. No, yeah, and then, then they get carbon monoxide poisoning. So tell them, man, don't do that. And he kept repeating that to us over and over again. We're one of the lucky few. We have not lost power yet, but I know a lot of people in Southwest Florida have started to lose their power. A lot of them want to crank their generators and just be really careful that you don't do it and put yourself in a position where you can harm yourself. So again, we're out here in Charlotte County, keeping an eye on uh, King Highway and Keens Highway in 75. I do want to remind everyone in Charlotte County that there is a curfew at 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. And again, we saw two vehicles just outside our window driving within the last five minutes. Please be smart. Stay indoors. Seek shelter right now because as Jim said, Charlotte County will start feeling the really, really big impact of Hurricane Irma around 9 o'clock. Guys, back to you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, John Carlos. It's always the waiting. That's With our live shots, we're going to go out to reporter John Carlos Estrada. He's in Port Charlotte off of Kings Highway in 75. John Carlos. Uh, Amanda, that's right. We were told within the next hour they're going to be closing the doors at the country end where we're staying at. So we figured we'll take you outside one last time. And I want to show you something that we're keeping an eye on. We're keeping an eye on this sign right over there. You can see it is bent over. The wind's really picking up right now. If you joined us about three hours ago, we were standing right over there. That sign pretty pretty much standing up. Now let's take a look right here. There is a woman, a lot of the dogs that we're staying with at this uh, hotel, they're getting their last walk in before the storm really hits. A lot of people taking out their dogs. We just saw two other dogs come out before the winds start picking up. They're going to close the doors here at the Country Inn in Port Charlotte within the next hour because the winds again have really picked up. Now I spoke to a man who is originally from New Jersey, moved here to Charlotte County two years ago and says that his neighbor got him into this hotel just yesterday. Take a listen. Luckily, my neighbor got me a room here, put me on a waiting list, which I didn't think was going to happen. I'm like, okay, thanks, Lou. But we got in here, thank God. We just got here yesterday. And a really sense of community here at the Country Inn in Port Charlotte. A lot of people helping each other out. There was a woman out here that was trying to walk her dog, and actually the maintenance man of this hotel offered to walk the dog for her because the winds, as you can see right behind me, right, we're next to this brick wall, so everyone, we're safe, but right behind this brick wall, look how intense this is. I want to zoom into that sign one more time. That sign three hours ago was standing up, and now we're not sure how long it's going to stick around for, but you can see big Big gust of wind here in Charlotte County as we prepare for Hurricane Irma to head our way. And I just want to remind everyone out there, we have a view of Keynes Highway. We've seen a couple of cars drive. At this point, just go home, seek shelter because you do not want to be driving in these conditions. First responders in Charlotte County were moved off the roads around noon. And also there is a curfew at 9 p.m. But it's, again, the wind's picking up here in Charlotte County as we prepare for Hurricane Irma to head our way. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, John Carlos. We want to show you a couple pictures from around the area. We have a new picture from Dennis Roth. He is in sight. All right. Wink News anchor John Carlos Estrada is in Port Charlotte off of Kings Highway in 75. Joining us now with an update, John Carlos. Amanda, they have locked the doors here at the Country Inn in Port Charlotte. Now, I want to do a walk and talk. You can see all the doors are pretty much closed right now. People are, uh, the electricity has been going in and out, so we hear a lot of the microwaves going, people getting their last hot meal before the power goes out, because as I've been listening to Jim, the eye of the storm is coming our way. And I want to show you, this is the window in the hallway. This overlooks Kings Highway and 75. You can see it's starting to get dark out here, but I want to show you something right now, right here. Look. Hurricane Irma, the water is coming in any way it can. It's coming in through this window. I talked to the head maintenance guy. He's been coming here trying to vacuum the, the water, and he put a, a, a trash can here trying to collect the water. He says that it, they've had big storms here, but nothing like this, nothing the, that the water has come in. We spoke to another person and who's on this floor, fourth floor that we're on, and there's water coming in through his window as well. Now, I want to show you some video we shot maybe about an hour and a half ago showing you how strong the winds were back then. This is 90, about 90 minutes ago. We saw this, this sign. You can see that it's sort of bent over. It's on the back side of this building, so we haven't had a chance to go look at it because we are now in lockdown. So we want to go and check that out as soon as we are allowed out of the building and as soon as things are safe. We want to go see if that sign is still there. 
But as of now, I just want to remind everyone in Charlotte County, 9 p.m., that is when that curfew goes into effect here. So if you're planning to go outside, please don't. The eye of the storm is coming our way. We are we are bunkered down here at the country inn, ready to take on this storm. But as you can see, Hurricane Irma is trying to figure out a way to get into this building. Luckily, this is the extent of what we've been seeing. And outside of our window, we haven't really had any water come in, which is really good to see. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, JC. We appreciate that. Stay safe there. Uh, we want to go back to Los Estrada is in Port Charlotte, seeing some of the stronger bands now. So, John Carlos, explain to us what you're seeing. Amanda, we are at the country and we're on lockdown, so we are not allowed to go outside. But I want to show you we have a good view of what is going on outside. So, Mike, let's take a look outside. I want to show people what we're dealing with. We turned off the lights so you can get a better look and I'm actually going to open the window a little bit so you can get up. Oh, the lights have been going in and out in this area. Take a listen. Some heavy, heavy rain dropping right now. The lights have been flickering off and on across this area. We haven't lost power in the building just yet, but the people across the way, they've been slowly losing power. But I want to zoom in to the road. This is King's Highway. You can see how heavy and how fast the rain is dropping right now. These are some heavy bands like Jim was saying. We are seeing them right now. The wind picking up. We've been observing these pine trees. We believe they're pine trees. You can see they're swaying back and forth. Some some of them have lost some limbs, but again, the power slowly flickering off on our ho inside our hotel room and the lights outside of Keynes Highway, those have also been flickering in and out. Now, I want to remind everyone there is a curfew at 9 p.m. here in Charlotte County. First responders were removed off the roads around noon, and as you can see, it's a very dangerous situation out there, so you should not be out there. You should be indoors like we are. We're on lockdown, as well as probably other people out there right now. Back to you. Yeah. John Carlos, it is encouraging, though, there is still some light there that yeah. you still have power. You, pro, you uh, Somebody asked the question, so also don't be surprised if that curfew then goes back into effect tomorrow night at nightfall if they want to keep everybody right. inside. It all depends on the conditions out on the roads and what they see when they first go to assess the damage. Yeah, it's going to be a rebuilding week. To, yeah, say, sure to say the least. Let's check in with Wink News anchor John Carlos Estrada, who is in Port Charlotte, seeing some of the stronger bands. John Carlos? Uh, yeah, Jim said that we should see some and feel those strong winds and rains, and we certainly are. We are at the country end, just looking at 75 and Keynes Highway. I'm going to have photographer take a look. The light actually just went out. The uh, This storm has been having a lot of fun turning on and off the lights around here. Our hotel has been maintaining electricity, but it looks like this side of the street has now lost power. You can see across the way, we do have power. Now over here to the right, that area looks a little dark. Uh, I want to show you some video that we captured about an hour ago. The lights, uh, this hurricane really having fun with the lights, turning them off and on. I slowed it down for you a bit if you didn't catch it the first time. But I did hear from a friend who's uh, about a mile away. He lives in Deep Creek, the Deep Creek community here in uh, Port Charlotte. He says that they are still, they still have electricity. Luckily, we still do at this hotel too, but outside the lights have been coming in and out uh, as we feel these strong winds. And you can take a look if you want to zoom in to Keynes Highway right there. You can see how strong these winds and rains are hitting Keynes Highway right now, but luckily we still have electricity and it seems like a big portion of Charlotte County still has electricity. Like I just mentioned, I have a friend about a mile away in the Deep Creek community. They're telling me that they still have electricity, which is a good thing. Now we did see a vehicle about maybe 15 minutes ago try to drive in this area. They were doing pretty fine, but again, there is a curfew here in Charlotte County, so don't be on the roads. Like you just mentioned, we don't know what's out there. We have a lot of heavy rain, and a lot of wind out there. We're not sure what's out there, so please stay off of the roads. There is a curfew here in Charlotte County until 6 a.m. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, John Carlos. They're going through, as you can see right there, kind of over our heads, one of the final bands of it in the area. Yeah, let's check in with Brooke Schaefer now, who is... A Collier County Sheriff, Sheriff has announced that in the county, they're enacting a boil water notice for all 
Collier Water District customers until further notice. And both Hendry and Collier County Public Schools have extended their closures. All Collier and Hendry County Public Schools will remain closed through Friday, September 15th. Right now, 15,000 people are taking shelter or refuge in 27 of Collier County Schools. Week News anchor John Carlos Estrada is in Charlotte County tonight. He sought safe shelter from the wind and the rain, which they're still going through, right, John Carlos? Uh, Chris, at this point, it looks like the rain is no longer here, but we do have those high winds that uh, we can see from our window here. We have a great view right now of 75. We're going to turn off the lights and get a better look. 75 in Keynes Highway. We've been sort of monitoring this area. Uh, and what we can tell you is that the rain is now gone, but the wind still remains. There are some gusts that come through here. The one thing that we've been seeing as well is I want to show you this video that we shot. We saw this car. Doesn't look like a first responder, doesn't look like someone that should be out there, but we did see this car that was driving in. I think at that time the rain was still around. Now it's just a wind, but I just want to remind everyone out there, Charlotte County is under a curfew until 6 a.m., so you should not be on the road like that car. We've been monitoring 75 as well. It looks like it's been pretty much empty. We do see some big trucks. I'm guessing that's maybe first responders or someone uh, traveling up and down 75, but if you are in a small vehicle, I'm not really sure if you should be doing that with these high winds that still remain. I know you probably want to go out there because the rain is no longer here, but you're not sure what you're going to encounter out there. So again, a curfew here in Charlotte County until 6 a.m. to stay off those roads. I was told by law enforcement you could face a misdemeanor depending on what kind of excuse you have to be out there right now. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, John Carlos. And Wheat News reporter Kim Powell lost power in Fort Myers, so she's joining us now by phone. Uh, Kim, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Wink News anchor John Carlos Estrada is in um, Port Charlotte, I believe, filing this report. <laughs> We're here at the country and the doors were locked several hours ago as the winds have picked up. Now I want to show you we have a good vantage point from where we're staying at here at the country and take a look outside the window. Take a look at how big these raindrops are. You can take a look at these trees. We've been monitoring these trees. We think they're pine trees. You can see a couple of the limbs have been broken off throughout the night. We're not sure how long these trees will be lasting as the eye of the storm gets closer and closer to Port Charlotte. Now I want you to pan over to Keynes Highway. You can look at, take a look and zoom into that. You can see how fast the rain is dropping here in Port Charlotte. We're just off of Keynes Highway in 75. Now we've also been monitoring this Waffle House over here. It looks like the lights are off and that's probably a bad sign. There is something called um, the unofficial FEMA indicator of how bad things are outside. Seeing that Waffle House sign close and turn off is probably not a good sign because the Hurricane Irma is on its way. The eye of the storm is on its way. So we've been talking to a few people out here. The electricity luckily still on here, but we're not sure how long that's going to last for. A lot of people say that the, we've been very lucky because our windows, as you see right here, no water has been getting in, but we have encountered a few people staying at the country and where water has been, has been coming into the window. Hurricane Irma, the water just trying to figure out how to get into the building. Luckily, this is the extent of what we've seen here, the water coming through the window, some of the windows, not all of them, just a few of them. Now, we are lucky we have a place to stay tonight. And again, a curfew is in effect for those in Charlotte, Charlotte County until 6 a.m. So stay indoors and let's ride out this hurricane. Back to you. All right, and Giancarlo shot that a little bit earlier. Clearly, it has cleared up a lot in, at I-75 Kings Highway where he was in that hotel since then. So weather conditions have improved greatly. Yeah, but you can see a lot of what they went through, right? Sanibel, so crews are going to be out as soon as daylight starts to break to inspect the roadways, to clear any damage, because that is really how we're going to start being able to move back into our neighborhoods as soon as those roadways are clear. And I did see a release from Sanibel City saying that at the height they had 57 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. And they said one of the things that they were, you know, worried about was high tide this morning being at 334 and getting three foot um, with the high tide. Yeah. So they said they believe Causeway, like Corey said, is impacted and it's going to stay closed until the crews can assess the damage there and then they'll move to other bridges in southwest Florida. Meanwhile, uh, Wink News reporter John Carlos Estrada, I believe, or John Carlos has been tracking it from uh, Port Charlotte. He filed this report about the conditions he's seeing there. 
We decided to step outside at the Country Inn here on Port Charlotte just to give you an idea of what kind of winds we're dealing with now. The rain has stopped, but the wind has really picked up. You can actually hear that there is a windy sign that has been tore up because of these wind gusts and probably because of the rain earlier today. But I want to show you something. I want to show you this sign over here. We've been monitoring this sign since we got here. I want to show you a video of what it looked like about a couple hours ago. And now look at it now. It's been knocked down because of these high winds. Now I want to remind you, we've been monitoring the traffic from our room on the fourth floor, 75 and Keynes Highway. I just want to let you know this, if you want to take your car and go for a drive right now, you should not. You're under a curfew until 6 a.m. here in Charlotte County. And these are the type of winds that you're going to be encountering right now. You can see it's sort of knocking me around. And I want to remind you again, we keep hearing this rattling sound right behind us, and that is the windy sound sign that has been torn up because of these high winds. Back to you. And a reminder that all counties except for Lee County are in a curfew till 6 a.m. Folks in Lee County, it's till 7 a.m. And if you're caught out on the roadways, it's a misdemeanor. More importantly, it's for your own safety. It's for all of our own safety until they can assess the damage.